If watching porn and satisfying yourself can reduce the chances to fornicate or commit adultery, why not watch it? Well, I can I can see I can see the logic that okay, porn is something that you can do on your own. It doesn't necessarily directly um, Im Im impact anyone. There's a there's there's a Bible story which which uh, comes to mind. I'll I'll try and be more brief. Um, but it's, it's from the book of Joshua. In the book of Joshua, God called the uh, Israelites to, um, to, to take the promised land and, and to do that by, by fighting. Um, but he gave them instructions of how to do that. He said, um, when you conquer a city, do not take any of the plunder for yourself because the plunder is holy. It, it, is, it is for the Lord. And there was a guy called uh, Achan and he, he he did take some of the plunder for himself and and hid it away no one else could see other than his own family and because of this sin um israel started to lose um battles that they were fighting in and it, and it was only when Achan kind of uh, repented of that and was punished for it that that israel can can move on um and there's there's a biblical principle that whatever we, we do in secret will be will be revealed. So like our, our secret devotional life with God, whatever we do there, it, it will come out in, in some way. And I think that there was an idea in the question that we can somehow control sin. And and George put it very, very well that in the C.S. Lewis quote that um, nobody just grows overnight but in the same way nobody falls overnight and we might think of porn as maybe maybe like a tame and controllable sin but that that's another lie of 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 the devil um if he can get a bit of porn in one day he'll get a bit more porn in the next day and and it's a really slippery slope and it gets harder and harder to 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 stop um and then the other thing just i would add on is if if we're th if we're trying to think okay what sin can I get away with? What folly can I get away with? That's quite a negative way to think. And I'd encourage people to say, look, how can I give my best for Christ? How can I be most like him rather than like, what can I get away with? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Uh, Uncle Josh, do you have something to add to that? Question? Nothing. I mean, he perfectly shared it. Um, there's nothing um, that I have. Uh, as I said, it's only going to ask you, it's going to crave, your body's going to crave only for more. There is no end of the thing. You can't say, okay, I've arrived. No, you can't arrive in watching porn and say, I'm stopping something. No, I'm taking steroid infusion. Five days, it's going to stop me from going into a progression. Okay, but it's not like that. Pornography is not like that. It's only going to crave more. Yeah, you cannot use one sin to stop another sin. So, yes. So, uh, my uh, next question would be, is it okay to watch porn with your spouse to spice up your marital sex life? <laughs> For me, there are three angles in this. The first angle is, why would I even watch someone who's been abused to enjoy an intimacy that is very pure with my wife. Why would I even watch some videos of somebody going through such abuse to enjoy a pure intimacy uh, with my wife? Two, the moment we wire ourselves to get our wiring fulfilled from an external source, not from the God-given sex inside marriage, it's going to become a dangerous slope. It's going to become a dangerous slope. The third very important principle is that I don't want my wife to feel that I'm being turned on because of a video. No, I want her to feel I'm turned on because of her, because of her beauty, because of who she is. And that's the perspective that I want to give to my wife, that I'm fully committed to you and I love you 
and I enjoy you. And as Jamie said, sex is actually not a bad word. It's actually a good word. God created sex, you know, and inside marriage, it's so important to be focused on the partner God has given you. Thank <laughs> you.